In this video, I'm going to show you eight ways to visualize dashed lines in Tableau. This feature came out in 2023.2. Here's how you build them. You can find a link to the data set and the workbook in the description. Let's start with a basic line chart. Right click and drag purchase date to the columns and choose continuous months. Drag revenue to the rows, click on the path shelf, and you'll see we have multiple line patterns here. We can leave it as a solid line, we can make it a dashed line, or we can make it a dotted line. Up next, I'm gonna show you how to have three different types of lines in the same chart. Right click on the sheet and choose duplicate. Drag profit to the rows, and drag units sold to the rows. Now on the left hand side, each of these measures has its own marks card. Let's go to revenue and change that to a solid line. Let's change profit to a dashed line and we'll leave units sold as a dotted line. Up next, we're gonna look at a line chart area chart combination. Create a new sheet. Right click and drag purchase date to the columns and pick continuous months. Click on okay. Drag revenue to the rows. Change the mark type to an area chart. Drag revenue to the rows again. On the second revenue shelf on the marks card, change the mark type from area to a line. Click on path and change the line pattern to dashed. Right click on the axis and choose dual axis. Right click on the axis and choose synchronize. Choose the revenue shelf with the area chart. Click on color and let's reduce the opacity. There you go, line chart area chart combination. Next up, we're gonna compare revenue to a moving average. Right click and drag purchase date to the columns again. Choose continuous months. Drag revenue to the rows. Drag revenue to the rows again. On the second revenue field, click the triangle. Choose quick table calculation and moving average. Let's double check that this is a three month moving average. Right click on the field and choose edit table calculation. We can see that it's an average, the previous two, and it includes the current value. So that's a three month moving average. On the moving average shelf on the marks card, click on path and change it to a dashed line. Right click on the axis and choose dual axis. Right click on the axis again and choose synchronize. Right click on the axis for the moving average and move those marks to the back. And now we can compare the monthly revenue with the three month moving average. Next up, we're gonna compare current year and prior year by month. Create a new sheet. Right click and drag purchase date to the columns and choose discrete months. Click on okay. Create a new calculated field. Let's call it current year sales. The calculation is if the year of purchase date is equal to mustachio max year of purchase date. This is going to return the latest year in the data set. Close off the mustachio. Then I want to return revenue. And I don't want to return anything else. Click on OK. Drag that to the rows. Duplicate that calculation. Edit the copy. Call it prior year sales. All we need to change here is adding a minus one after the right mustachio. Click on OK. Drag prior year sales to the right hand side as a dual axis. Right click the axis and choose synchronize. Right click on the axis again and move those marks to the back. On the prior year sales shelf on the marks card, click on path and make it a dotted line. And there you go. Compare current year sales to prior year sales. Next up, we're gonna look at a combination chart. Create a new sheet. Let's again, right click and drag purchase date to the columns and choose discrete months. Drag revenue to the rows and profit to the right hand side as a dual axis. Right click the axis and synchronize. Right click the axis again and move those marks to the back. To create a combination chart, let's go to the sum of revenue shelf on the marks card. Click on path and let's make that a dashed line. On the sum of profit, let's change the mark type from automatic to a bar. And there we go, a combination chart. The next one is one of my favorites. We're gonna look at a barbell chart. Create a new sheet. Drag product to the rows. Drag current year sales to the columns and prior year sales on top of that axis to make it a combined axis. Drag measure names from the rows to the color shelf. Change the mark type from automatic to circle. Now we want to connect those two circles, but we want it to be a dashed line. Duplicate measure values on the column shelf. On the marks card, you'll see we now have two measure values shelves. Choose the second one. Change the mark type from circle to a line. Move measure names from color to path. Click on path and change the line pattern to a dotted line. Click on size and I'm gonna make it a bit thinner. Right click on that axis now and choose dual axis. Right click on the axis again and choose synchronize. We want the circles to be in the front. So right click on the axis with the circles and choose move marks to front. 
Right click again, choose edit axis, and I'm going to uncheck include zero. Right click on the axis at the top and uncheck show header. And there you have it, barbell chart with a really nice looking dotted line connecting the dots. One more, this time we're gonna look at a forecast, but we want our forecast to be a dashed line. Right click and drag purchase date to the columns. Choose continuous months and click on okay. Drag revenue to the rows. Drag revenue to the right hand side to make it a dual axis. Right click on that axis and choose synchronize. Right click on that axis again and choose move marks to back. Now over here on the marks card, go down to the second sum of revenue shelf, click on path and let's make it a dashed line. Now we can't see the dashed line right now because it's behind the solid line. Go to the analytics pane and double click on forecast. And notice now on each of the fields on the row shelf, we have that arrow that goes up and to the right. That's the indicator that there's a forecast, but we don't want a forecast on the regular line. We only want it on the dashed line. On the first sum of revenue field, click on the triangle, go forecast result and choose none. On the marks card, go to the first sum of revenue and remove forecast indicator. On the second sum of revenue shelf, do the same thing. Notice now the solid line and the dashed line connect to each other. Let's right click on the dotted line and see what kind of forecast Tableau put on this. Right click, forecast, forecast options. So Tableau left this forecast model as automatic. But let's look at some of our options. Surely there's some type of seasonality in there. Change the forecast model to custom. We're gonna leave the trend the same, but let's change the seasonality to additive. And there we go. Now you can learn more about how Tableau does forecasting by click on this option at the bottom of the screen. Click on okay. Click off the view now and you have a line chart with a dashed line for the forecast. And there you have it, eight different ways to visualize dashed lines in Tableau. If you found this useful, please give it a like. And while you're at it, click on that subscribe button so you don't miss anything that I create. Lastly, go to andycreeball.com and sign up for my weekly newsletter. Every Friday, I share exclusive tips, career advice, and much more. Sign up at andycreeball.com. Thanks for watching.